Hello and welcome to Deck of Ashes. A Slate of Spire kind of a card game where you continuously build your deck and progress throughout the story and we are playing a bad boy or girl in the land terrorized by monsters and it's full of chaos and death and yep, let's go new game. Wanna play with my fire? So four characters, uh, I already played the, with the game a little bit. Alright, let's go with the hot pyre chick. And we're not gonna be playing on the hardest difficulty. Not because it's not possible to play on it. I, I, I played on it. But I wouldn't recommend it. I would I don't think it's a good difficulty. I'm not even sure if it's well balanced. Because it seems like some encounters are just impossible. But the, the main reason I, I'm not gonna go with that because it seems like you, you need to know exactly how to beat the fights. You need to know about the fights before you get into the fights. And if not, uh, then uh, you're just... Uh, <laughs> Well, good luck. So, yeah. Let's go in standard mode. Let's listen to the story. Since the dawn of time, people <clears throat> with a magical gift had a target on their backs. We instill fear, and fear breeds malice. I learned to conceal my talent the hard way. I trusted my fiancé and revealed my secret. And that same day, I was laying in the mud, surrounded by a mob of bloodthirsty loons. Rusty pitchforks and blazing torches pointed at my face. That day, I killed for the first time. I managed to escape and join the outcasts, a gang of hardened pariahs like myself. Wherever our righteous anger took us, we settled the scores in blood. When we broke that damn box and released the Ash Curse, the simple folk blamed the mages. The witch hunt ensued, and a week hadn't passed before I ended up at the stake. I was burned to the cheerful cries of peasants, but those turned into screams of terror as I suddenly rose from the ashes. The curse gave me power. It made me one with the flames. The flames of retribution that swallowed my offenders. The curse gave me power, but it played a twisted joke on me. The pain I suffered at that stake, it stayed and defiles every moment since my rebirth. The prophet, he found me on his own. He assures that Lady Death can rid me of pain. If this is true, I will make her do that. He asks me to kill Lady Death. And he says that it will break the curse. This world, it's full of scoundrels. And I'd enjoy watching their torment. But if regaining my peace means ridding them from the curse as well, screw it. Let it be so. We've arrived. The Forbidden Grove. We'll have to stop here and pitch camp. The curse defiled these once sacred woods with hideous mutations. There is a lurking danger behind every tree here. A werebore, a giant rat, or any other beastly abomination. The ancestor is the ruler of these lands. The father and the king of all beasts. The curse changed him. And I suspect not for the better. He's picked up our scent, and he won't let us pass. We have but a couple of days before he tracks down our camp. You must prepare to fight him. Okay, so just to recap, uh, my boyfriend was a total dick, and because of that, I became a, uh, a bloodthirsty mugger with my three friends, and uh, somehow I got really good at it, and we managed to unleash uh, Pandora's death box upon the world that just uh, unleashed untold suffering, and now I'm, I'm. I'm a pyromage, and maybe I just want to undo at least some of that. <clears throat> so we started with some resources. Uh, we can make some card upgrades, and I think just just for simplification, just so we we get into the action, I'm just gonna make this healing bomb upgrade right away. We can go card upgrades, we can craft cards, we can go for traits, uh, we can also improve our stats. Uh, buy new recipes, trade resources, upgrades. So, it's not much... Uh, <laughs> it's not really a gradual introduction, just like, hey, you can do all this. But, hey, let's just go for uh, making sure that we heal for more. And one thing to consider in this game... Yeah, we can craft recipes. 
But one thing to consider is that all our cards, one, once used, unless it has Phoenix on it, which is the Blazing Torch, once used, gets expanded. Uh, well, <laughs> it's spent. Well, it's spent. That's that's what I should should have said. It's spent. So it becomes in this discard pile. But the discard pile doesn't come back. We would need to spend our special ability, card upgrades, uh, Ash Pact. Ash Pact gives our cards back. So we would need to use health for cards, and we end up using cards just to fight with, and of course we use our health uh, just to, uh, well, getting punched in the face. So this is the land. And uh, one thing to consider, although, like, of course we have multiple areas here, but the outer areas are more valuable, but also more dangerous. We can also dig on these lands. When we dig, we can find 0 to 1 resources. But on the outer uh, lands, we can find 1 to 2. So I'm not even sure if it's really worth digging in the inner, inner lands. Because 0 to 1, that's averages to 0 and a half. Right? But 1 to, one to 2, like 1 and a half, like that's 3 times as good, right? I mean, assuming, assuming... Oh, it's 1 to 1. I kind of, I guess it depends. Oh, it's one to one. Never mind that. So the outer ones are just a little better. Never mind that. For some reason, it looked. Oh, zero, zero to one key. Okay, fine, fine, fine. So we might want to go to this outer area right away. Uh, we can also enter camp. Uh, we're not using our gold currently because I'm not sure what to use the gold for, uh, at least at the very start. Uh, many uses for the gold. My preferred uh, use is uh, just upgrading the stats. But that's a very beefy level one. What? So the question is how much I wanna use for this. I mean... Okay, let's, let's do this more expensive but it's also more effective uh, using the fireball plus would have been better maybe we're gonna keep that uh, the fireball plus is already an upgraded card oh crap no okay never mind that uh, this is random uh, there is another version of this that allows you to use the fireball plus <laughs> it's an upgraded fireball it's called fireball plus they should, they should really have like a specific name like Pyro exploding fireball, whatever, okay? This is a work in progress. My point is, there's a, like an echo fireball that allows you to use fireball and use the fireball again. Uh, that would be my preference. So I guess this one is kind of garbage. Okay, we have five mana. Uh, we can hold onto some spells, but I'm not super concerned about, super interested in that. So we can do a healing bomb, but at this point it's like, do we want to? We can just do Blazing Torch and Fireball. And he's gonna also take uh, two to burn damage. And I think we're good now. We don't have to do anything else. Alright, that's a win. Uh, after the fight, currently we have access to six points. Uh, we can use that to restore health, like right now. I clicked on that and we got uh, 10 health back. We can also use that to uh, just renew cards. So in this case, it was like a very easy fight and we managed to end up with. Uh, the exact amount of resources. So this fight basically paid for itself. Actually, well, it didn't cost us any resources and we got something from for the rat. Of course, we need a, a key to open that. Uh, and I do have a key, but it's currently not super important that we go there. You'll burn oh, like crap. I burn. So obviously I, I rushed to the juicy area already and we ended up with a a tougher fight. I don't think we can kill the spore, can we? I'm trying to make... So we can apply burn on him. I can deal 10 damage. 6 to 10 damage, so that's 16 guaranteed damage. But that's only a 3, three guaranteed damage. So we can do this for 2. This for 6. So that's 8 damage. Plus, plus 10. Okay, uh, I think this could work. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is just a warm up. So, it's done. Um, I might want to keep the healing bomb. Uh, this fireball plus, eh. I don't much care. We want to use the healing bomb next turn, that's for sure. So we use the healing bomb. This gives us health. And of course, we're gonna <clears throat> regenerate. Now we can use the Ash Pact. And this is an interesting uh, proposition, because now we have our good cards in there. So by doing an Ash Pact, we're gonna get back our good cards. I just ended up not using my trash cards. But the trash cards... Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be an interesting case. Like, what, what are we going to do with the trash cards? They would need to be upgraded. I trash cards in a way that even at the start of the game, they're like, do I want to be using these? Of course, we're getting punched. Keep in mind, we can heal uh, 10 HP after combat uh, six times, up to six times. If we just do a Blazing Torch plus Fireball, uh, that's only uh, 20, uh, 15 damage, so that's not going to work. That would take me three turns. Can I kill him faster? Yeah, I mean, with the Strain Explosion. Okay, uh, let's do that. Okay, not right now. We're gonna get punched. Uh, we're not using that on him. Okay, let's just draw more cards. Yeah, that, that's what we wanted. So, Blazing Torch, Fireball, and Strain. So we don't get punched. Uh, well, at least that. And maybe a Pyro Explosion. So we can do a Digging. So we can Portal away somewhere else. But do I want to do that? This is also the dungeon. Oh, crap. Okay, it's a weird. If I'm use the, using the middle mouse button, then it always starts on the character. But if I'm using the left mouse, bus, mouse button, then it works fine. Um, okay. I don't want to be portaling away anywhere else right now. We can also just go for a, a detour here. Uh, let's do the detour. Okay. So the Herbalist has left the camp for six hours. What else we had? The last fight took a uh, real toll on you. Every step you take reverberates throughout the bo throughout the body, throughout your body would be, um, maybe a better way to say it. You can get some rest, but it could only make things worse. I'm not. Uh, continue your journey. I'm good. Dot chance is reduced, but some cards were renewed. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot to uh, dig it there. Oh, we got some boar here. Uh, barely deals any damage. We can uh, pop the healing bomb, which is nice. Uh, let's set the boar on fire. Hmm. That's only 6 damage. Not particularly impressive. Let's just throw in the fireball. Okay, let's throw this away. Applying bleed. Oh, that's just great. I'm tempted to go Ash back here. We have uh, 5 cards in there. I have reason amount of HP. I think... I think health is... Yeah, the thing is, I can spend one point after fight to refresh a card. Or I can spend... Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I can spend the same point to get 10 health back, right? So... Basically speaking, uh, I'll just keep that for now. 
if using two points to heal is worth the same as uh, using five points to uh, refresh cards. If anything, using two points to heal is uh... yeah, that, that's sixteen. So I mean, I should probably use the ash pack every time I can can do it. Hmm. But of course, the problem is that some of my uh, cards are trash. And we can't kill him right now. Uh, I can do a uh, regular fireball on him. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Because now we're missing out on the heal that I applied on myself. So, let's refresh that. Refresh that too. I have, I have too many points. Might as well refresh everything now. An ass storm. Okay. So I have three days to get one of these, and I think every single time you have enough time to get it. These are recipes. Uh, to get cards. So I can make a rush for apply pyro bomb on an opponent after detonation of any pyro bomb applied on this opponent. Apply stun on it. Pyro bomb is just a uh, continuous damage on that opponent. Apply pyro bomb on all opponents and next turn gain stun. Oh, I get stunned. Fuck me. I know what this is. We just get 10 ash. That's what I like the most. Can I just... Oh no. We only have three turns, so we have to go here, here, here. Here, here, here. Ah, actually, that works too. It works. Here, here, here. That works. But I don't want to skip that. Ah. Let's go back. Play it safe. I found some ash. Let's, let's mine. Okay, let's open this chest. 10 gold. A recipe. For 30 HP, we draw 3 cards that cost 0 mana. Very questionable. Pyro Bombara. Restore 1 health point at the end of your turn for every applied Pyro Bomb. Yeah, I mean, that's not really our thing. This is a recipe, so we're not gonna get it. Okay, this is about discarding everything. This might not be completely useless, because if we get Phoenix cards that uh, just come back to my hand, so we can just discard those. But it, it, it's still dodgy, because right now I can deal 10 damage, and I'm pretty sure I can upgrade those fireballs to almost be twice as good. Hmm. So I find that hard to... Imagine that this is gonna be good. So one thing we can do... We can get a shield. Now we can go back... Well, I don't know if I wanna go back home. Maybe we're gonna go here a little bit later. I kinda wanna go back home. Not because I absolutely need to, but because it would make us... Make us stronger. You see a clump of tangled roots in front of you. There is something glimmering, tantalizing beneath it. How many travelers could have tripped over these roots in their haste? I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Try to reach it. Uh, this guy, uh, we're gonna uh, fight some kind of a uh, pig man. Uh, forest keeper. This forest keeper guy is just stupid. <laughs> it's really hard to beat, as far as I know. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, let's keep these. We'll be doing a healing bomb, that's for sure. 
We need to kill the boar. Can we kill the boar right now? At 16. 18. Plus 6. We can't kill the boar right now. We're getting hit for 13. I think on the high, highest difficulty he does double damage. I recall getting hit by like, I don't know, 27 or 26 by him. Something like, something along those lines. <sighs> and you have also less HP, 80 HP. So technically with the boar, you get killed in like two turns and you have the same cards. Two, two free turns, three turns max. Okay, let's throw away the fireball. Okay, it doesn't deal stupid amounts of damage. So, seems like the game is balanced for this difficulty. <laughs> and they, they just totally fucked up the other one. So, we can do healing bomb on ourselves. It's pretty important. Uh, this is a bit odgy. Let's do pyro explosion on the boar. And just do a fireball. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Mm, you can throw away the uh, the fireballs. I suppose the rule is that if we can ashpact, we ashpact. Especially right now, it seems like we're gonna be just fine. Okay, I can throw away the fireball. It's not a very effective card. The fact, well, in this game you want to be using the most effective cards you got. Can we kill this guy in one move? Actually, he's going to be summoning the boar. As far as I know, if he does that, then we got to kill the boar. So it's not enough that he dies. Can we kill him right now? He's going to be taking two damage, so technically we need to do 25 damage. Uh, we can strain on him, but I don't want to uh, lose 5 HP for no reason. So we only do that if we can kill him. And this is only uh, 6 damage. I don't think we can kill him. So this is 16 damage plus 22. I mean, this can technically roll high, but uh, not exactly guaranteed. I'm a little more tempted to just go with Healing Bomb. Uh, fireball. Yeah, we will need to roll a 9 here. That's that's a lot to ask for. Even though I would love to kill him. So, the boar is now defending. Which is a problem. Do I have any good cards in the deck? I'm not sure if I want to Ash back right now. Just for the sake of not trying to die. Okay, still punching me. Well, we can kill the boar. Okay, let's kill him. Sure. So, let's just restore health. That always takes priority, and uh, might as well just get back the healing bomb, if nothing else. The ruler is looking for me. This is basically like a... Uh, prepares me for some kind of boss fight. Okay. You find some lockpicks lying on the ground next to the chest. It looks like a thief will be deprived of some loot. You feel like you've definitely used similar lockpicks before. Uh, try using a lockpick. Okay. Well, the next chest will require less lockpicks. But what if that chest requires one lockpick? Only. It says one less. 
Can it be less than one? You'll Is make there a, a minimum? Bonfire. Okay, we got an ash pack. Healing bomb. Set him on fire. Uh, do piercing fire. Fireball. Should I ash back again? I would like to upgrade the ash back at least. So we get more cards back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. we deal more damage for some reason. Why is that? Oh crap, you plan to summon something? Well, we can set him on fire again, if that is somehow important. We can deal 15 damage to him, but like, ah, uh, do I want that? Do I want to apply burn on him though? This cost me 5 HP, and usually it's 6 to 10, so... Average 8 damage and cost me 5 HP. Uh, not the best, but sometimes we can uh, do that and uh, we don't get hit, so that's kind of nice. 5? Oh, that's interesting. I'm not sure what to do here. I mean, he still has a lot of HP. We're gonna keep the fire explosion. Uh, also the blazing torch. This is fine. If you can kill him with the fire, that's better. Let's do a fireball. No. Let's do an ash pact. Damn fireball. Okay, let's space. So we heal up. Uh, doesn't matter. He's gonna die to the fire. <laughs> this is just a warm up. And uh, do I really want a healing bomb? I just killed this uh, succubus with nothing. Okay. So we can heal up. Uh, might as well do that. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to be digging around right now, but we're going to go to the camp. We have 45 ash. We can make new cards, we can upgrade cards. I'm not sure about that. Not sure about that. Not sure about that. Increase your strength for each burn you applied. I'm not exactly sure how booms work. Smoke screen times three. Oh, I think on uh, the hardest difficulty you only get one potion for the same price. <laughs> so I guess it's gotta be more worth it. Draw two random cards. You want something that just allows you to not die. Apply stealth on yourself? Does that allow that? Screw that, this is what you want. Not getting hit. Herbalist. So restoring health, not super uh, worth it. We have actually enough to allow stat increases. But I'm pretty sure we would not have the money for it. Actually we have. Increasing our speed. That's the term is the turn order. Increases my strength, increases max HP. That is something to consider. Allows you to cure all ailments except for parasites. So we can also restore free HP after each battle. Let's do that. So this is why digging is worth it. But we still haven't used the ash. Well, we want more uh, 
herbs, for sure. Card upgrades. Yeah, I don't know. So we can double burn. Uh, discard a card of my choice from the hand. Uh, that seems like a, a combo. So we can replay this card, but keep in mind we would have to pay the same price. Detonating Pyrobomb that I currently don't have. Apply burn on the opponent. So we would slowly deal some damage to the opponent. Not bad. Increase your strength until the end of battle. So this is different. But I wonder if... Cardcraft, we have this power of the burn. Increase your strength by one for each burn you applied. So can I just like really lean into this burn mechanic? Can I just have these fireballs all just burning people? Discard a card from your hand. And uh, Phoenix Fireball, so we can just keep replaying it. But that's a bit of a trap, because then we would have a very costly and trash card. I mean, this is something if you don't want to be using the Ash Pack, but it's not a very effective uh, thing. Okay. We can upgrade the Ash Pack. This is only cost us 10 points, so we can restore more cards. I think this is technically better. Hmm. We can start upgrading. Uh, let's, let's upgrade the Ash Pact. And just start upgrading our stuff. So we can do double tw double burn. Uh, this is the, the Phoenix. So we can life steal. This is like uh, AoE. I don't know about that. We can uh, do some kind of Phoenix Torch. And Fireball. That actually burns people. Why not? Let's go with that. Some upgrades on the way. Uh, it's certainly going to help. Can we open this? This is just a recipe for the dexterity potion. No. Okay, so this is uh, applying the burns we have on one guy to all the guys. I don't know. Maybe this. This is just the recipe, okay. Take the potion. We can dig it here. Actually, maybe that was not the right call. We have... Wait. Oh, right! Only one chest is uh, cheaper. So I shouldn't be just rushing toward the, the chests. Uh, so there's nothing there. Uh, might as well go for the easy battle. Because we get stuff for it. That even a beast can be afraid oh, look of a at that, a wolfie. He's not gonna live long. Don't you guys worry about that. Uh, kind of garbage. So, let's pop regen on ourselves. Burn the wolf, pyrobomb the wolf, or like blow up the pyrobomb on the wolf that uh, is not present. I can just pyro explosion the wolf too. Yeah, fine. Let's keep the fireballs. So he's planning to increase his strength. He's taking six damage. So the best I can do is Fireball, Phoenix Torch, actually, Ash, no, Phoenix Torch, does it matter? And do Ash back, getting my cards back, and uh, Doggy will just die to the fire, I don't care. Oh crap. Uh, heal up. Uh, we have no urgent matters right now. Uh, might as well go for the battle. 
They say that even a beast can be afraid of a spark. Okay, and set him on fire. I'll go with fireball. Mm, doesn't matter. I'm definitely a fan of upgrading stuff. Uh, okay. Let's burn the wolf. Then... Maybe piercing fire. Let's get rid of those. Okay. Let's get back everything and that should do it. The wolf is just simply going to die. Uh, actually, we, we should have went for a heal, doesn't matter. Continue. Uh, we can do a diggy. We have enough herbs to enable the stat upgrades. Ambush! We can travel between active portals momentarily. Sure. What the fuck is going on here, guys? We have. Is this guy dangerous? So, as long as this guy lives... Oh, on death he's gonna restore the health points of all undead. Maybe you should leave him last. Can I kill someone here? This is really six damage. We can apply fire on him. <laughs> this is just a warm up. He's dead. Uh, let's get rid of those. Applying shield on myself. Uh, maybe in a more dangerous situation. I definitely want to heal. I guess next round we're gonna take out some lower skeletons. Oh no. Don't be upset. I'm in more pain than you. Okay, let's punch Nosferatu. Uh maybe not Ash back right now. Actually, we probably need to Ash back. Because my deck is not, not the biggest. Yeah, let's get back everything. Let's throw this away. We need more heals. Uh, can we kill this guy? He's going for uh, 9 damage. Uh, we can play it somewhat conservatively here. Maybe don't even go for a heal. I kind of want to go for a heal. But I can't set this guy on fire though. Okay. Throw this away. Ah. Oh. This is not good. Now we got an ash storm. Let's see what we get. So we get recipes. Get it quickly. So we have access to pyro bomb on an opponent, then draw three cards. I'm not sure drawing cards is that important in this game. 
It deals 3 damage on the target for 4 turns, then explodes. As we exploded earlier, this gives me 10. Then deal 3 damage to all opponents. Deal additional 3 damage for each strain card played this turn. Okay, currently I have like 1 strain card. Oh, that doesn't sound like the best option. Uh, we can dig. Go here, go here. Uh, dig again. So, we're just gonna go for Ash, because that is required to craft cards. Okay. Let's go on the side. We got a level 1 Nightwing here. We can set fire to it. Uh, heal myself and throw a fireball. Applying bleed to me. That doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can just do piercing fire into Ash Pact. Getting back all our cards and uh, throwing away the fireball. <laughs> Considering he's not gonna die this turn, might as well go for something uh, that's uh, good in the long term. Throw this away. Still trying to apply bleed. I think we can kill him now. Okay, let's pass. So we get our heals. And he's gonna burn to death. Confirm. Uh, first heal, then just get back cards. Sure. Not much of a choice if I, I can just get everything. I think we have access to some kind of teleport. Travel to the campsite via travel stone, yeah. Mm. Do I want to go back to the campsite though? Because now we have access to the teleporter here. Uh, the ruler is looking for me apparently. So use the teleporter to come over here and start exploring these areas. Oh crap. Let's see what we have. Three options. Draw three cards that cost zero mana or ten ash. Or a piercing fire. Which actually works pretty well for me right now. Uh, but I'm not sure I actually want to commit to it. Why not just get more ash, right? <laughs> actually, at this point, I'm pretty much I kind of exhausted the, the use for ash. Mm, I do like piercing fire. We many times... Uh, Okay, let, let's just go for Piercing Fire here. Let's go back into the cave. This is like a dungeon. No more suffering for you. We got a Aren't you here. lucky? Okay. We'll set fire. The clamper. Uh, we can do a pyro explosion and heal ourselves. And uh, just get rid of the fireballs, I guess. Uh, let's do more burns. We can do piercing fire. Wait. Every third attack is deflected. Mm. 
What? I can't do this? Oh, he's stealthy! Oh my god, so we, we know what stealth means. It means you cannot be targeted. Oh, okay. You bastard. Do I need to ash pack right now? I don't think so. What? Let's get rid of all of those. He's still burning to death. I don't mind that. Okay. He, he blocked it when it was at 1. Okay. Let's get back our cards. And throw away some fireballs. Also the ash pact. So... Can we kill him now? We can just throw a really crappy fireball at him, right? And now he's going to die. No. Nice one, Krabby. It sh really shouldn't be much of an option if uh, I can do everything. Like, why is it not... Okay, I can return more card. Um... <laughs> Why would I... Is there a reason to not return cards? If I can return everything? Maybe. Maybe some cards need to be in the graveyard. Any character dies. Is this speed? No, the, uh, speed is initiative, right? Throw away the fireballs. Cole is dead. <laughs> this is just a warm up. Dot chance is increased by five percent. Uh, okay. Uh, it's probably gonna be a little longer. There's a huge difference between uh, the normal difficulty and <laughs> and uh, mayhem difficulty. Mayhem was was damn hard. Well, at times. Normal seems more like uh, more pretty, for, pretty forgiving right now. Okay, let's ash back. But who knows? We gotta see the boss. Mm, we can just pass. Okay. Uh, do I have a key? I do have a key. So that's our recipe. Healing bomb on myself. I kind of like that. Okay, so I can deal free damage to one guy. But it's still trash. I like the healing bomb. Uh, let's take it. Heal random ailment. Sounds good. Uh, we can see that we can go that way. Although... Should be more obvious, if you ask me. Yeah, let's pick up Stone Bomb. Okay, picking up potions. Increase your dodge chance until the end of battle. Three percent? Isn't that near useless? Sounds near useless to me. Oh, crafting cards requires 30% less ash for the next 10 hours. But that means me running around means <laughs> I My won't be able to use that unless we teleport back life. home. Mm. These are all garbage. I need to change them. But at very least, they apply burn. Like liquid fire. Okay, let's kick these. Easy pickings. Uh, sure. He's gonna burn to death. 
it doesn't really matter. Alright. So we heal automatically 3, 3 HP after every battle. Get those back. Okay, let's open that. Yeah, piercing fire could be nice uh, with the strategy I'm going for right now. Oh my god. Do I want to go back and craft for less ash? Ah, uh, but it would take so much time to come back here. 30% less ash. But what would I craft? The two piercing fires? Okay, how much would I get for go going back home? Like... Let's just say instead of... Uh, that's 30%. I would get at least, at most, uh, 20 ash. Ah, fuck it, we don't go back home. We go Your and do this dungeon until we get to the very end. To because source. coming back to this point would be long. Okay, it seems like uh, these guys are more seriously fighting. When any character loses health points, Skeleton increases its strength by one. Okay. But we probably should take out the Skeleton first, because he gets stronger every time. All characters... Except the undead, so I'm gonna get hit big time. The skeleton should die. Unless I can blow up somebody. Putrefaction. Can I just blow up the ghoul? So this is 12 damage. 16 damage. I have at least 22 damage, which would kill the stitched. But the goal... <laughs> at the end of its turn. So, yeah, that's not good. That, that wouldn't help me. We could make the skeleton a lot stronger. Maybe, maybe just hit the goal. Like this. So the goal will die. And we start hitting the skeleton. Then any character restores health points. Oh crap. It's not characters dying, but restoring that. health points. I'm in more pain than you. Okay. Restores four health points for every character in battle. Oh, he's gonna be restoring health. Not restoring health to me. Uh, we might want to kill the Stitched, although the Skeleton is hitting harder. How do I do this? Uh, currently the Piercing Fire doesn't do much, unless I also willing to do a Liquid Fire, which would be like 4 damage right off the bat. 4 plus 9, so 13 uh, plus 10. It wouldn't kill him though. A little bit bugs me. Although this guy is currently doing nothing. And he will kill the skeleton at the end of the round. Okay. Well, I do want to do the heal. But I don't necessarily want to make the skeleton stronger. Okay, so let's do a heal, and uh, only the undead, let's get the skeleton, I don't know if you want to ash back here, we can ash back a little bit later I think, but I think we don't have good cards. 
But I also don't have a lot of health. Yes. I want an ash bag, but... Now we can ash back. Okay. Let's just heal up. Okay, altar. The next chest requires one less key. Dungeon Lord! Fuck, we found the Dungeon Lord now. Are we ready? Uh, I don't have the max HP here. Level 2 Dire Horn. We can set him on fire. Uh oh, what, what's this? Is this permanently? I know I wanna set fire to him. And heal myself. The rest is a little bit up to debate. Restores two mana points. Do I really care about my dodge chance? Can I just shield myself? This seems... I mean, you make these cards more expensive, that's kind of pointless to me. I don't know if we want to use the pyro explosion necessarily. Okay. Let's get rid of these. Keep Toro though. Uh, 13 damage. I definitely wanna set fire to him. And if nothing else. I just suspect that he's gonna have stronger attacks uh, down the line. So, throw away these. Same 13 uh, damage. Okay. I suppose I would just keep hitting you with the same crap. Throw away the fireball. No, he's doing the same thing. Okay. Throw away the fireball. Mm -hmm. He's trying to increase the cost of my cards. Well, let's do a uh, piercing fire into fire explosion into ash pact into actual fireball I so they definitely have better cards so let's discard these cards for now uh, set fire to him and set fire to him again I don't really care about the frontal attack right now. Uh, just get rid of those. I guess I might do a Toro. Into a healing bomb. Into just a regular fireball. Actually, let's do piercing fire. Into a torch. And throw away the fireball. Wait, what? Oh, he deals 17 damage now. We can still Toro. Let's, let's Toro again. Well, he will just die now. Uh, pfft, I don't really care. He's gonna die. Okay. Oh, I'll just pass.
Okay, so what we have here contains not much. Keys required to open. 45 gold and... The next card played will be will cost zero mana until the end of battle. Interesting. So we can make a spell uh, just dirt cheap, but of course we would need to uh, sacrifice another spell for it. So in order for this to be worth it, the other spell would need to be at least three mana, and would need to be played at least twice. It would not worth it if it was free mana, so it would need to be at least four mana, or would need to be played at least three times. Also, it could be a situational card, so hmm. which would hurt uh, the playability of the burnout. Discard the entire battle deck. <laughs> what? If the opponent dies, renew five random cards. Uh, don't know about that. If the monster takes critical damage, burn is applied on it. What is critical damage? Oh, uh, I guess I need to crit. Okay, so that's bad. Maybe burnout. Smoke screen. Oh, I can't take it. I guess I guess not. Where can I? Okay, so we exit the dungeon the same place we enter. Hmm. I still have this key opening thingy and we still have a chest there and I I still have one key. So if I came here, I have two choices. I think I'm partial to just teleporting back home. So I'm back home, that cost me one turn. We can go into the camp. I have 300 gold. We can do some upgrades here. Allows you to uh, cure all ailments except for parasites. Cheaper healing items, that's totally pointless I think. So these are the healing items. I mean, do we want to be paying gold for this? Not unless it's a... Uh, critical scenario so we can purchase stat items now we have access to these we can increase our HP which is going to be also increasing the effectiveness of rest we can also increase our, our crit or dodge chance that's a good question I think when the enemies are I don't know I hate both uh, let's just uh, let's just say that I hate both. Which is gonna be more important? I think dodge. Now, why dodge? Because when I'm using skills, I'm I'm already planning in a way that I don't add crit in it. But the if if I somehow uh, two out two out of one hundred times don't get hit, I mean I guess that's a nice bonus. Of course, we might want to use our gold some somehow else. So we can also uh, use the chalices to get one more rest points. Two rare recipes each day from a merchant. Or we can trade more effectively. I don't know about these recipes. Okay, let's go have and um, have more rest points. I mean, that that's just uh, nice to have. And the Ash Master can renew all cards for nothing. Uh, do I need to be keeping gold just to afford this? So I can renew all cards for free. I, uh, on uh, the highest difficulty, you can do that. Uh, it costs you uh, big bucks. Okay, we also have some um, relics. Okay, so we have two choices. I mean, both seem okay. So either we can use our points when uh, 
when we have nothing else to do, just to meditate and get uh, a recipe. A common or a rare one. Or... We get more ash from ash chalices, which seems like a, a really good choice. This is an option, but this... It, unless we go for ash all the time. Uh, that's gonna be... Wait, burn. So we can discard cards from our deck of ashes. 15 gold? Isn't it like... I, I think on higher difficulty this is a lot more expensive. But this is better. This is better because... I was too concerned about of making cards. Because some cards cannot be upgraded. Traits. Yeah, I mean, this would be good too. So we can go for traits too. 150. Increase the creatures by 10%. We can only have one, one trait. You take less damage from strain cards. This is useless. Unless we're just going with a strain strategy. But at that point, like, that's a little uncomfortable strategy. Opponents deal 5% less damage for every burn applied on them. So we can stack a lot of burn on the boss and we'll be fine. So, interesting. You add Sacrificial Chalice, Fragile card. Increase your max health by 20 until the end of battle. What do we want? Do we want just 20 max health? I think the 20 max health seems like a easy choice. We can buy trades, but I can't afford them. Decrease the travel stone cooldown by 5 hours. It has a cooldown. Allows you to dismantle your cards. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, I'm wrong. When we burn cards, they're just going to the deck of ashes. So... <sighs> dismantle is different. Oh yeah, this costs big bucks. This, this is the one that uh, gets rid of the card from my deck. If you have a trash card, it's gotta be the the Pyroblast Exploder Fireball Plus. It doesn't fit my deck at all. Uh, let's just go for uh, the Travel Stone Kundal right now, and we can also go for just just double down on the burn. Apply burn on the opponent. Uh, we're gonna be doing that. So we can craft cards. Oh. Some cards are more expensive. The next card played will cost zero mana points until the end of battle. Yeah, but... That is... That is a rare case, because I just end up using the cards. It, it goes into my battle deck. I mean, it would be a little bit better if it was some kind of Phoenix card that's really good, but Phoenix cards are not really good. Scroll of Purification. It's Ash card. Non-playable. Deck of Ashes. Yeah. The Deck of Ashes is, is the burnt cards. So this would not work. Because I would uh, renew it. Uh, randomly. With, uh, well, I can't show it right now. I can't, can well, with the renew card. Storm bomb, I don't know. Ignition. A piercing fire could be a good choice, I, I guess. We are applying a lot of burn, and we can just craft some piercing fires. Also healing bomb. Oh yeah, let, let's, let's go for healing bomb. I know we can upgrade that. So we can go healing bomb plus. Uh, I don't know. Do we want a piercing fire? Ah, it doesn't really matter now. So we have a an extra healing bomb, and we probably should use one potion. Recipe inventory. Eh, I don't know. Actually, yeah, we can uh, go for a stat upgrade of dodge. Why not? And uh, I have some herbs that I can use. Allows you to cure all ailments except parasites. I have no ailments right now. Uh, so it doesn't really apply right now. And we would have to come back anyway if we get one. Okay. Unoccupied tile. The 
Lulu is looking for me apparently. Oh, look at that. So battles are the go-tos uh, for uh, getting stuff. And one thing that annoys me about this game is that I just don't know which cards can be upgraded. So you might get a card and you think like, oh yeah, this is a good card, but then you can't the upgrade contagion. it, so it just remains a trash card. Uh, that's a problem. I do apply a lot of burns, so this would be a 4. Eighteen. So we can blow up the corpse fly. Mm, let's get rid of one healing bomb. I was a little wrong about that. Okay, I've got a Pyre Explosion. Let's get rid of the Fireball. Ultimately, I need to get, <laughs> get rid of some cards. Up. That's probably more valuable that I start uh, dismantling cards. Uh, okay, he's uh, sneaky. Well, maybe do Ash Pact. And do a healing bomb af right after. And do nothing. Alright. So. Confirm. New. An ash storm. Apparently we get more now with the jugs. So, for more cards we have discarded. And we deal more damage. 15. Okay, well, the obvious choice seems like this jug nearby. We have two turns. Oh, we can't go that way. What? What happened? Oh, okay. So now we got the boss fight. I'm supposed to be getting ready for the boss fight. Somehow. But there's not much I can do. Craft cards, dismantle cards. I cannot dismantle a card, we cannot upgrade a card. One thing I can do is craft a piercing fire, I think. If this is actually helpful. I do have a lot of uh, burns, so maybe. But I don't want to just fill my hand with garbage. Even though I think piercing fire is a good choice. Let's craft it. And I think that's it. There's nothing else I have. All right, big boy. They say Bring that it even on. a beast can be afraid of so, a spark. One fancy pig uh, wants to take me down. Okay, this fireball needs to be uh, discarded, well, dismantled. Okay. Let's set fire to the big boy. Although, this wolf will do pretty good damage, I think. Maybe we should kill the wolf first. Well, let's just set fire to it. And do a healing bomb too. Even though it's right now not very useful.
So we gotta keep a strike card in our hand, or we're we gonna get ran for 47 damage. Uh, I don't want that. The wolf should die. Oh crap, why do we deal double damage? Oh, he takes double damage, fuck. Then this is the perfect time to hit him big time. But also, it's the worst time as well, so we gotta keep the fireball at least. We gotta do uh, an Ash Pact here. Mm, let's keep the Healing Bomb. So the Wolf should be killed. We know that. Two damage for three turns. So that means he only has one burn on him. Uh, do I need to do both? That's 14 damage. Either we do these two. No, oh, that's... I'm not happy about that. Okay, let's kill the wolf. Kick the fireball. I don't know about the blazing torch, it's not very useful. Really? So it takes double damage now. Uh, it takes double damage next turn, okay. Okay, then just uh, queue up a few things. Ah, that looks nice. But uh, three fires are going to expire. How sad. Okay, we'll do Ash Pack Plus. And the Fireball is kinda useless, so let's get rid of it. Now the big boy is going to die. We can just do a piercing fire on him. He's gonna die to the, uh, die because of the fire. Okay. Um, I don't really care about that. And just because the boss dies, doesn't mean the fight is over, right? Right. Well, it's me against the rat with full HP. Alright. 200, 100, and a key. You are doing good. I feel your power growing. But don't get overconfident. It is a long way to the Valley of Death. Ugh. Don't patronize me, priest. We have an agreement. You guide me to Lady Death, I turn the hag to cinders and break the curse. Save the caring for your voodoo dolls. Wow. <laughs> He's your only friend, look at him! How lonely he is! He knows, he knows this, he just wanted to be, uh, social! Why me? Wouldn't the other outcasts be a better fit for your mission? What do the flames say? Where are they? What do the flames say? Are you hearing yourself? You sound like a crazy person. Oh, the Ash Mr. frowns. I see each of you went their own path, but only yours led to pain and suffering. This is why I choose you. You chose me because I'm a sucker and I have nothing to left to lose? Screw you, mate. Don't lie to me, priest. We were all there when the ash box broke. It can't be that I'm the only one facing consequences. Life is not fair. Who knows better than you? Be that as it may, I'm keeping my end of the bargain, and you will keep yours. If you trick me, then even the gods won't help you. 
When do we move out? Well, you obviously don't trust this guy. <laughs> you already decided that. What is there to talk about? Departing at dawn. Okay. It's uh, funny that we owe us still being alive to Magnus. Hadn't this damnable dwarf broken the ash box? We'd have killed each other that day. Lady Death counted on this, no doubt here. We survived, but parted ways mortal enemies. And these bastards were the only family I knew. I'm full of rage and... regret? Wow. We got really, uh... touchy-feely with the other muggers. <laughs> Devil's abode. We are now in the lair of the fiend. The curse, famine, and death pushed mere mortals to bargain with demons. At every crossroads <clears throat> here, a demonic recruiter is waiting, anxious to take your soul's possession. I like how this Ash Mr. guy is trying to be like a, a dark Decker Kane trying to sound cool. Devil's abode. We are now in the lair of the fiend. The curse, famine, and death push mere mortals to bargain with demons. At every crossroads here, a dem demonic recruiter is waiting, anxious to take your soul's possession. Ooh. Deep mines. Deep caves. mines. This land is but a thin blanket over the underworld of demons. Imps, succubi, ifrits. These are the most harmless vermins residing here. Thanks for telling me all this. I'm already bored. The crossroads keeper oversees the business of soul bargaining. But he only closes the most lucrative deals himself. He'll be frothing at the mouth when we stop at any crossroads. Really? Sticking to the road is suicide. He will strike at the first road fork. Taking a roundabout path across the demon's land? Thanks. But no thanks. We pitch camp here. Let the fiend find us on his own. Great. I can't wait to be hunted. Uh, so we got some ash. Extra ash. Increases... Oh, we got this mental card, right? Yeah! What is this? Oh, that's that's an ailment, right? Ailment. Cure this. Okay, we have no resources. Each... Burn applied on what increases your strength for each burn applied on you on me on me are you stupid that's useless okay let's craft piercing fire on me are you insane that's completely useless who thought of that was a good idea for a card so I would need to be on fire myself that's not what I want! Oh crap, we can't even uh, go for the dismantle here. We don't have enough crystals. Actually, zero crystals. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, even uh, trading is kind of useless here. Yeah, whatever. I'll be leaving now. Resurrection right. Let's see this area. Well, definitely bigger. Anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna be the first part. Uh, that was about day one. So, yeah, see you next time.